In the silent, unending void of space, where the inky darkness is punctuated only by distant stars and galaxies, a revelation has emerged that challenges our very understanding of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's latest and arguably most advanced eye into the vastness of space, has been gazing into the depths of time, uncovering secrets of the early universe. Here's what's startling. While we comfortably reside in the Milky Way, a sprawling, disc-shaped galaxy with a mesmerizing, dense bulge in the center, it appears we're not as unique as we once believed. The initial observations from this behemoth telescope have revealed a surprising truth. In the universe's early years, there weren't just a few galaxies resembling our own. There were multitudes more than we ever anticipated. Imagine the sheer vastness of the cosmos and the billions upon billions of galaxies it houses. Now, realize that the James Webb Space Telescope's latest findings suggest that a significant chunk of these galaxies, formed one to several billion years after the colossal Big Bang, shared uncanny similarities to our own Milky Way. These aren't mere galactic siblings, they are practically twins, hidden in the folds of space-time, waiting for the James Webb's gaze to unveil them. This revelation is not just a mere data point, it's a testament to the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of the cosmos, a cosmos where our Milky Way with its majestic spiral arms and stars orbiting a central bulge has many more doppelgangers in the early universe than we ever fathomed. What could have led to this galactic abundance? And what does this mean for our understanding of the universe's evolution? Following the cosmic revelation that our Milky Way might have numerous twins from the early days of the universe, a dedicated team of astronomers, united in their thirst for knowledge, embarked on a monumental endeavor. This wasn't a casual glance into the heavens. They set their sights on an ambitious goal, to meticulously study an awe-inspiring number of galaxies, nearly 4,000 to be precise. These weren't just any galaxies. These were remnants from a time when the universe was in its infancy, a period rife with creation and change. These galaxies were birthed from the chaotic aftermath of the Big Bang, during a time span stretching from a mere billion to several billion years afterward. Each galaxy with its unique form, composition, and history held clues that could reshape our comprehension of cosmic evolution. Employing the unmatched capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, this international consortium peered farther and with more precision than ever before. To grasp the enormity of this task, Consider the challenge of sifting through thousands of cosmic entities, each vast and complex. The telescope wasn't merely capturing brilliant bursts of light from these galaxies. It was effectively looking back in time, unveiling stories of the universe's past. As these astronomers embarked on their explorative mission, they were guided by a blend of curiosity, expertise, and the sophisticated tools at their disposal. And as they navigated this vast sea of ancient galaxies, they sought answers to lingering questions. What were the properties of these galaxies? How did they evolve? Were they fundamentally different from the galaxies we see today? Or did they share familiar characteristics with our Milky Way? Little did they know that their rigorous exploration would lead to findings that would prompt us to reevaluate many of our long-held cosmic beliefs. As they decoded the mysteries of these early universe galaxies, the canvas of our astronomical knowledge was about to be painted with new, groundbreaking details. As the astronomers delved deeper into their extensive data set, the timeline of our cosmos started to become clearer, revealing itself bit by bit. Central to this narrative was an understanding of when these ancient galaxies came into existence. After all, understanding a story's beginning is crucial to grasping its entirety. Imagine the universe in its earliest moments a chaotic, high-energy realm, reeling from the explosive birth known as the Big Bang. This event wasn't just a point in time, it was the very genesis of time. As the fiery fury of the Big Bang started to cool and subside, the first building blocks of galaxies, like hydrogen, helium, and dark matter, began to coalesce. The galaxies our astronomers studied weren't the immediate offspring of the Big Bang, Instead, they emerged during a span that began a billion years afterward and stretched on for several billion more. It's a period that's not as frequently discussed as the Big Bang itself, but is equally riveting. It's during this epoch that the universe transitioned from a homogeneous soup of particles to a more structured space where galaxies began to take shape. 
These were the universe's formative years, a period of astronomical adolescence, if you will. Galaxies of all shapes and sizes began to emerge, dotting the cosmic landscape. Yet, what's utterly captivating is that within this vast timeline, amidst the universe's innumerable galaxies, many bore a striking resemblance to our own Milky Way. This wasn't a mere coincidence, it was a pattern, a thread running through the vast tapestry of the cosmos. A hint that the Milky Way's structure wasn't just a unique design, but perhaps a recurring blueprint in the grand architectural scheme of the universe. Unraveling the reasons behind this pattern and decoding the mysteries of these galaxies' births are essential to piecing together the broader cosmic narrative. Every galaxy, every speck of light captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, represented a chapter in this vast cosmic story, a chronicle from the dawn of time that we are just beginning to read. While the universe's timeline provided context, it was the distinct shapes and forms of these ancient galaxies that truly captivated our astronomers. At the heart of their investigation lay a simple but profound question. What did these primordial galaxies actually look like? To most of us, the term galaxy often evokes an image of a splendid spiraling entity with stars trailing along its arms, a form made iconic by our own Milky Way. But in the distant past, things were not as they seemed. The cosmos in its early days was a turbulent place with matter and energies clashing and mingling in a cosmic dance. The Hubble Space Telescope, the predecessor and longtime workhorse of space observation, provided initial insights into this ancient epoch. Its images depicted early galaxies as seemingly chaotic and amorphous, conglomerations that lacked a discernible shape. They looked like luminescent blobs, glowing patches of light with neither rhyme nor reason. It was as if these galaxies were in flux, still finding their identity in the vast expanse of space. Astrophysicist Christopher Consolis of the University of Manchester offered a vivid account. These galaxies seemed distorted, disturbed, and as if they were in the process of being distorted. The implication was clear. In such a chaotic early universe, frequent collisions and mergers among these young galaxies might have disrupted any regular shapes they were trying to form. Such tumultuous conditions seem to challenge the very possibility of disc-shaped galaxies, like our Milky Way, existing in that era. The common consensus leaned towards the belief that these more structured, organized galaxies couldn't have taken root until much later, perhaps when the universe reached the age of six billion years. Yet, as is often the case in science, assumptions are made to be tested and sometimes upended. The James Webb Space Telescope's enhanced vision presented a picture quite different from previous observations. As the astronomers meticulously cataloged and categorized the data, they stumbled upon a revelation. Many of the galaxies that once appeared amorphous under Hubble's gaze now showcased the familiar characteristics of disk galaxies. We were shocked, confessed Consolis, reflecting the astonishment of the global astronomical community. It's no overstatement to say that the Webb's observations have been transformative. The telescope didn't just offer a clearer picture, it provided a new lens to interpret the universe's vastness. The distinction between what was previously observed by the Hubble and what the Webb was revealing was not just a matter of clarity, it was a difference in perspective. Astronomers with the help of the Webb began to discern details that Hubble's images had merely hinted at. Galaxies that once appeared as blurry, indistinct blobs were now being unveiled in all their intricate glory. The previously held notion, informed primarily by Hubble's images, of a young universe with erratic, shapeless galaxies was being turned on its head. The Webb was painting a picture of a universe much more diverse and structured in its infancy than anyone had anticipated. It shows that with the James Webb Telescope, we are learning much more about the early universe than with Hubble, asserted Consolis. His sentiment was shared by the broader astronomical community, echoing a newfound respect and excitement for the potential of this cutting-edge observatory. Yet, as with all groundbreaking discoveries, every answer revealed only led to more questions. The Webb's revelations were just the beginning of a new chapter in our cosmic exploration. As researchers began to delve deeper into the properties and intricacies of these ancient disk galaxies, a renewed sense of wonder gripped the world of astronomy. The universe, vast and mysterious as ever, was beckoning, 
and with the James Webb Space Telescope, we were better equipped than ever to answer its call. If you enjoyed this astral adventure, give that like button a little cosmic nudge and subscribe for more trips to the stars. But before you jet off, we have a burning question for you. If you could name a galaxy after anything or anyone, what would it be? Drop your most creative answers below and don't warp away just yet. Click on the video floating on your screen now and buckle up for another thrilling cosmic voyage. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.